today's video i'm gonna be comparing the results of the iphone 8 plus versus the ipad mini 4. hope you enjoy <music> All right, so um, I mentioned this before. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Geekbench results because I think that the Geekbench results, they don't really tell the whole truth. I'll give you an example. Um, when I had my iPhone 7, I felt it was so extremely super fast on iOS 10, okay? And it had really high Geekbench results but then iOS 11 came and it just got so super slow. Even though the Geekbench results were still the same. You know, you could do the Geekbench results on iOS 10 and 11. The results were the same, but the phone felt infinitely slower, at least on iOS 1 and 2. Uh, I was, sorry, iOS 11.1 and iOS 11.2. 11.3 that's when we start to see an increase and now with ios 12 i'm telling you both the iphone 8 plus and the ipad mini 4 feels really solid now the ipad mini 4 on ios 12 i'm gonna make a separate video on that if you want to see it and today i just want to talk about the results by themselves so if we're looking at geekbench and i think geekbench is a pretty good benchmarks to compare ios devices now i i did actually run the test myself because again i i'm not a huge fan of these type of types of tests but i did check on basically geekbench website and i got the results and we're going to talk about them so the iPad mini 4, it has a result of 1,600 on single core and on multi-core, it has a result of 2,848. And the iPhone 8 plus, it has a single core result of 4,200 and a multi-core score of 10,160. So, uh, we can definitely tell that the iPhone 8 Plus is way faster. And especially at multi-core, it has more cores, makes sense. So this is a beast compared to the iPad mini 4. But again, having said so, uh, running iOS 12 and also 11.4 on uh, iPad mini 4, it's still a very fluid experience. I, I wouldn't say that the iPad mini 4 is a slouch. It's not slow in any way. Um, I, I can obviously tell the difference when I start apps that the uh, iPhone 8 Plus is faster, but I mean, looking at the Geekbench results, duh, obviously it would be. But I, I gotta tell you, with iOS 12, we got such a good upgrade for a lot of older devices. I mean, even like iPhone 5S got a really good speed boost. So I would definitely say that iPad mini 4 is a really price worthy tablet still in 2018. I think, it, I think it's one of the most underrated products ever. It's just sad to see that this one is soon gonna be obsolete, unfortunately. I don't think that there's gonna be an iPad mini 5. I just don't. I made a video about that. I just don't think it's gonna happen, unfortunately. But um, it's a really solid device. And I'm also making a video on if this I iPhone 8 Plus is gonna replace my iPad mini 4. And I'm gonna talk about that in another video. But just looking at these Geekbench results, yes, the iPhone 8 Plus is definitely way faster. But I still don't think of it, it's, it's just, if we look at real um, real life performance issues, like I, I would still say that you get approximately the same experience in iOS. Like there are a lot of, gonna be a lot of people like go like, what are you talking about? The iPad mini is super slow compared to the iPhone 8. I get that, but we're just, you, you guys are probably just like really picky. Like most people wouldn't notice a difference. I will notice a difference because I'm a bit of a geek, but most people wouldn't notice the difference. It's, it's not that big of a deal. So that's really it. That's really what I have to say about it. Like, yes, the Geekbench results are in, and yes, the iPhone 8 are just killing it, but this is not slow by any means. 
So that was it I had for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.